completely changed about my daily routine. I'm a retired lawyer, full-time troublemaker. I take my time. I engage wherever the field of engagement presents itself. I have not changed in any way. My routine remains exactly the same on a day-to-day -day basis. I just do my own thing and I let other people do their thing. You engage with me, I engage with you. This is us, the Nigerian people, the ones who have been deprived of citizenship, looking for somebody behind whom we can rally to get a foot in the door. I don't believe that Peter Obi will solve the problems of Nigeria, but it will be a start. For a Peter Obi to win, it becomes easy for a Yele to win in 2027. It becomes easy for a Dele Faro to me to raise his hand in 2027, because the Nigerian people would have found their voices and their powers in the legitimate process that is completely legal. So when Peter Obi says Nigeria is like a vehicle with a knocked engine, he was completely correct. But there is absolutely nothing contradictory in him seeking to employ the instrumentality of the system because you have to play the hand you are dealt. You can sit down and argue against your reality from now till kingdom comes. Or you can engage with your reality in a quest to affect it so that it becomes what you'd prefer. So it's always a choice in your own hands. But you cannot bemoan your reality in the expectation that anything would change until you have done something to affect it. Nothing will change. So the man deciding to run, I don't believe it is contradictory because the same man has said clearly that by every one of the things he has said, because I think he's been, he's been a little short on details as to how he wants to go about the restructuring. But if you listen to the things he has said as he outlines his plans for Nigeria, you'll see clearly that what he has set out to 